In this episode, I'm going to show you 5 useful and fun ADB commands that everyone should know about. Big thanks to Hans, uh, I mean, I mean, Hans Solo for the video suggestion. Now, if you already know what ADB is and how to use it, skip to the countdown because I'm going to explain what ADB is and how to easily set it up for those that are new. The timestamp will be on your screen. So what is ADB? In simpler terms, ADB is a command line tool that lets you control your phone in various ways that are not usually possible directly from the phone, unless you have root permissions. ADB is mostly used by developers, but if a dumbass like me can take advantage of it, so can you. Here's what you'll need for ADB. A PC or laptop running Windows, Mac or Linux. In case you don't have a PC, just click the card in the corner and watch that tutorial, and then make sure you come back. Next, you'll need a USB cable, your phone with USB debugging enabled, and a tiny bit of common sense. On your PC, you need to download and install ADB Minimal from XDA forums because it's much easier and simpler. Link to it will be in the description. Once installed, double click minimaladb.exe to launch it. Connect your phone to PC via USB cable and type ADB devices to run the ADB server and see if your phone is connected. If you see your phone listed, you are good to go. If not, then head over to the pinned comment for possible fixes. Now that everything is set up, let's check out some ADB commands you can play with. Our first command is ADB TCPIP. If your phone and PC are connected to the same network, you can run ADB without being connected to USB. First, you need your phone connected via USB for the initial setup. Then type ADB TCP IP followed by a local port, like 69610 or any four numbers you want. After that, you can disconnect your phone from PC. On your phone, go to about settings and then status. Here you will find the local IP address assigned to your phone. This might be in a different location depending on your phone's skin, so Google it if you can find it. In ADB, just type ADB connect followed by the IP address. Put a colon at the end and your local port which was the epic number 6969 in this case. And that's it, you're now connected wirelessly which means you can throw that cable in the garbage. Know your place, trash! Actually no, I can sell this as an NFT. Now that we are connected wirelessly, let's check out the next command which is ADB pull that lets you download a file that's stored on your phone onto your PC at rapid speeds. You first need to know where your file is located on your phone. To demonstrate, I have an image called meme.jpg in my downloads folder that I will send to my PC. In ADB, type ADB pull space the location of your source file in double quotes, which in this case is the download folder. Now go to the directory where you want to download this file on your PC. Hit enter and your file will be downloaded onto your desktop at a much faster speed than standard MTP with USB cable, which is amazing. A much quicker way to do this is by creating a new folder, typing in the file location from your phone and then just drag and drop your folder onto your terminal. It will type the correct directory for you and save you the headache of typing the whole thing by yourself. I know how lazy you are. You are welcome. Just a heads up if you're running ADB as admin, you won't be able to drag and drop a file location. So keep that in mind. The next command is basically the reverse of what we just did. ADB push will upload a file from your PC to your phone. It works the exact same way but you first type in the directory of where your file is located. Or you can also drag and drop the file onto your terminal. Then followed by where you want the file to be uploaded on your phone. Very convenient and again much faster than MTP and much faster than many third party apps. Because the file transfer is on local network and at a super high speed. When I break my Xiaomi phone, yep I did that. I had to use my backup tablet to get some work done. Unfortunately, half of its screen does not work, so I had to use other means of input. Oh my god, this looks even worse on camera. God damn, I swear to god it's not as bad as it looks, okay? It's, uh, it's actually clean. It's, it's clean, so just, just trust me, okay? It's, 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 god damn it. Oh my god, Jesus. If only I knew about ADB shell input text command. This command basically allows you to type into any input field. That's basically all it does. Just type ADB shell input text followed by whatever you want to type into your text field. Hit enter and watch it type for you. Pretty neat if part of your phone's display is paralyzed like mine was. Speaking of dead phones, manufacturers love to put like 600 apps on their phones. Like why do you need a separate screen recorder when it should be a system feature? Why do I need a file sharing app when I can just use Android's nearby share? I just don't get it. Who approves of this? Thanks to Android, we can get rid of them with a simple ADB command. To make things convenient, you will first install Package Viewer from the Play Store so we can find an app's package name easily. To demonstrate, I'm going to uninstall Google Chrome. Alternatively, you can execute ADB shell list packages and you will get the list of packages installed on your phone. But this is not very convenient if you're looking for a specific app. In ADB, execute ADB shell to enter shell. Now before I show you the actual command, I feel like I should let you know just to be careful. You don't want to uninstall any essential apps such as Play Store, Gallery or the Settings app because I know someone is going to try that. 
you could soft break your phone and you will need to perform a hard reset to get things back to normal which let me remind you wipes everything on your phone so be careful with what you will install with that being said type pm uninstall dash k double dash user zero followed by the package name of the app you want to uninstall hit enter and the app will be uninstalled from your phone follow the same process again to uninstall all bloatware from your phone and give a middle finger to your oem here's a bonus adb tip for you if you've entered shell and want to exit it just execute exit and you will be out of shell it's very basic but something i wish i knew because i used to close terminal and open it back up when i first started using adb i can hear the developers cringing right now with that being said make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a part 2 of this video because i have a ton more commands i'd love to share if you want to check out the other node freedom episodes click the card above or click the bottom card to check the previous episode be sure to join the discord follow me on twitter that kind of stuff you know the youtube thing people tell you to do and uh yeah let me know what What's, what's up with you in the comments you know if you want to talk about something let's talk about it in the comments let's do it that being said thank you for watching peace out